Greetings, Scorpio. Greetings, greetings, greetings. You're now tuned in to Soulful King, who don't guys a dream, who has a mission I will achieve. I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective. With that being said, you have now entered a sacred space of love and light. Listen, listen, listen. I've done so many readings um, for the other zodiac signs, and I've done most of them at night. I'm at the park, so be patient with me. Um, it is a little windy, so work with me. Um, I welcome you with love and light. Remember that all readings are timeless and they're fluid, so it could be three seconds ago, it could be five minutes from now. All right, take what resonates for you and apply it to your life. Don't ever force a reading, don't ever force anything to fit. All right, there's other people watching as well. Scorpio, 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 is your ruling planet. You have two of them. That's how divine you are. Let's start off with that. Let's start off with that. Your two ruling planets are Pluto and Mars, which represents motivation and transformation. Do you not hear those two together? Do you know who you are? Your element is water, and you're very fixed, all right? Now, when you high vibrational, you're very focused, you're brave, you're balanced, you're faithful, you're ambitious, and you're intuitive. But when you low vibrational, you're jealous, you're secretive, you're resentful, and manipulative. Let's be honest. When you accept your negative traits just as much as you accept your positive traits, you have truly accepted yourself, all right? We have to. We all can channel that energy at any given time. A choice is yours. You have free will. Whatever you choose to do in the present affects your future. No matter what we talking about, whatever you choose to do in the present affects your future. All right? Also, I'm going to go ahead and insight you because we always here to educate, entertain, and guide along our spiritual journey. So we got Pluto and we have Mars. All right, Mars is definitely ruled by the day of Tuesday, the number nine and the letter I, all right? Number, Mars is also associated with like, oh, an awakening, all right? Someone that's very tolerable, um, you're a jack of all trades, all right? You're very supportive, you, 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 you're humanitarian, and also you surrender to your purpose. All right, you're very intuitive, you're very secretive, you're very wise, you pay attention before you actually step. All right, you're a sensitive, you're not emotional, you're sensitive, there's a difference. Pisces and Cancers are more emotional, you're sensitive, you like dark, wet spots because you, you go within, you are more intuitive than most people really think. You like to steady yourself a lot because there'd be so much that be going on for you, mostly spiritually. You're not really a social butterfly, but you do get along with, with people that resonate with you. People that really understand you. I get that, I get that. And Pluto, Pluto is represents transformation. It doesn't have a day because it's free. It's free spirited. Pluto doesn't have a day, all right? Neptune has a day and Uranus has a day, but Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus are definitely the three planets that represents spirituality freedom and transformation and that's what you represent okay three 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 on the clock as I said that you represent the, the, you, the spiritual side of things the unknown the unconscious you bring things to light a lot of people don't like their coats full but you're gonna do it and you honest about it because you 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 have foresight the unseen Listen, you, some of y'all are very, very powerful. I'm seeing this in my in my third eye, in my first eye. Very, very powerful. Definitely connected with a lot of high vibrational um, deities. Yes, yes, yes. Also, the underworld. Some of you connected to the to the those those high vibrational underworld deities as well. Not all of them are bad. Sometimes you need to do your research. Don't listen to what somebody says. They were always bad. They weren't always just evil like that. And a lot of people, you got to understand, when it's time for you to, to assert your power, what do you have to do? You have to channel that dark side of yourself to protect yourself, defend yourself, things like that. It's called equilibrium. You have to have balance. Negative positive half cannot live without each other. It can't happen. It just, it just won't. All right? So we're going to tap into the reading. I'm going to start off with the Egyptian God's Oracle deck. Also, I'm going to be using Light Seer's Tarot. And I'm going to be also using the Chosen Ones 144 deck by Maji the High Priestess. 
Let's start off with your Egyptian Goddess Oracle deck. I love y'all so much, Scorpio. What's goody? Make sure you like, share, you comment, you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see everything I do post. You can drop um, scorpion signs down there. You can drop some hearts. All right. You can drop um, some honey, some bumblebees, some sunflowers. This is just showing how connected we are. You can drop the anchor down there to represent ground grounding. You can drop the axe to represent a spiritual warrior. All right. Be free to be yourself. I love you so much, Scorpio. I love you. Thank you for being here. What message do we have for Scorpio? What message do we have for Scorpio? What, ooh, whoa. <laughs> you got hope. Yes, yeah, master number 22. You got hope. Someone, someone, someone hoping and wishing. And it's gonna come. It's gonna come true. Because hope ain't hope ain't nothing but the, the other side of a corn of faith. Alright? Faith is more when you know for a fact you trust it. Hope is like, I know it's gonna happen, but just in case, I feel like like I'm getting somebody that's very intelligent. Like you you hope things really work out, but at the same time, just in case. Okay, six months, six months off, just in case you got a backup plan. Even though even though she I'm, I see what I see, okay? Remember that. Even though she pouring out this cup and she's sharing with others because her cup runneth over in this in this flower behind her to me It looks like there's a cup hidden in the flower, but it's bigger than what she holding Okay That's what it looked like to me You very listen. You don't always show your hand. You don't always show your hand You don't like when a person really try to be in your game room like that. That's who you is 646 when I said that Okay, that's Enuket. All right some of you connected to that goddess. Also, I'm getting a star. You're a star. You're a star seed. I'm getting that star energy with this. That star energy. You're a star seed. You also could be dealing with Aquarius. Aquarius could be surrounded. You may have Aquarius placement in your chart. But this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. At the bottom, you got hermit, Hermitage. Hermit mode. You go within for to seek answers, to seek enlightenment. Okay? Honsu. 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 Number 20 is significant. Number 22, master number. Look up the number 22 that may be your master number. All right? Let's go ahead and use the light Sears tarot. Let's see what we have for the scorpions. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. I'm grateful for the channel messages with you. I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations. I'm here to wake you up to who you truly are. If you are who you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. I'm telling you, 757 when I said that, have no fear. Woo! I, even, I'm, I haven't took this card because it didn't come out, but the way it split, listen, stop feeling ostracized. Stop feeling left out 808. You're not. You right at the vote. You right there with your abundance. You right there. Just wake, pick your head up. Stop being alone. It's okay to be around people. Just, you can't be so deep always into yourself, into the spiritual world. You can't always be in reserve mode. You have to actually connect with others. You are still having a human experience. All right? 828 when I said that. You just connect. You need to connect with beings on your vibration. You need to connect with beings that value you. Okay? But you need to value yourself first because you're standing right in front of your vault. You got the key. The key right there. Pick it up and open up the door. Open up. Open up the door. You can also be getting ready to get a new home and don't even realize it because... The energy that you in right now and that home waiting for you your keys waiting for you right there to open up i'm telling you you need to get out this yeah the real swords split this is all split the heart and the mind matter this mental battle this mental battle i love you scorpio i love you i love you so much i want to say it again. i mean all i do is win 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 no matter what got money on my mind listen Every time you step in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. And they stay there. Up, down, up, down. Come on, DJ Kelly. I love you so much. Let's see what we have for our Scorpios. Woo, it shot out. You got the strength card. You are stronger than you believe. You are the Messiah, I'm hearing. You are the precious lamb of the most high of God. That's you. You tamed the beast within. 
that equilibrium, that balance. Also see the um, your Boris symbol, the number eight. You have balanced the the the, the lower and have the lower and higher heaven of yourself. Okay, mentally. Yes, you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. You wear it as a medallion, as a trophy. Because you know you have a big heart. You just keep it close to you. You can't trust everybody. You got that beast within, though, and you let it out when you need to. You let it out when you need to. Trust and believe. <laughs> you sting when you need to, Squappy. You definitely do. Let's go ahead and get you one from the Chosen Ones. One, four, four, deck. I love y'all so much. That's a major arcana, the strength card. Yeah. You, you assert your will, your willpower. Yep. No ego involved. You someone that tamed the beast within. Let that ego die. Ego ain't, ego ain't nothing but edging God out. That's what ego represents, edging God out. That's all you're doing. The God within you, that divine lightness within you, edging it out. You don't have to be, it's a difference between confident and trying to be conceited or like boastful or arrogant. You don't have to be. You may also have Leo in your chart. Check your chart placements. You can go to Cafe Astrology. You need to know the time that you were born. I'm not affiliated with that um, that website at all. I'm just putting you on, 11-11. All right? Transformation, I'm telling you, as I split the deck, you got underestimated and lucid dreams. Underestimated and lucid dreams. You could be daydreaming right now. All right? It may still feel so vivid. You could be having lucid dreams. I'm also hearing, I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you and I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Uh, easier said than done. Thought that you were the one. Listen to my heart instead of my head. Whew. I am the better one. I won't let you forget me. I'm telling you. Yes, it's a remain calm at this moment. Underestimated lucid dreams. Yes, that lucid dreams, um, I forgot who that was. Juice World. I think it's Juice World. Don't don't quote me on that. I think it's Juice World. It may not be, but if it is, then you know, maybe you can go listen to that song. You were the better one. You ain't gonna let. They not gonna forget you. They're never gonna forget you. They not gonna forget you. You you. I heard that um. You signed that song by Keisha Cole. You signed your name on my heart. Listen, you you signed your name on somebody's heart. You marked your territory. <laughs> you marked your territory. That's what you did. You stung them. You stung them, Scorpio. <laughs> you got somebody stung. That is amazing. That is amazing. Listen, you got that venom. Listen, I'm hearing that boy is poison. Poison. <laughs> your love is like a drug. They can't get enough. And you keep filling them up. <laughs> Uh, you may be in love with a Leo, uh, con uh, uh, connected to a Leo. A Leo could be in love with you, and you got them stuck. You got them. You, it's like a, it's like a, you like a drug to them. Poison. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm here. I said that's a Mason. Yeah, it could be a Mason too. You may be one. It may be a Mason that's in love with you. Okay. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. Whatever applies, apply it to your life. Whatever don't, let it fly. A mason may be in love with somebody. The hierarchy, I'm, I'm get, the elites are looking at you. They're in love with your energy. They're in love with who you are. They want you to join them. Do as you please. You have free will. Whatever you choose to do in the present will affect your future. Remember that. All right, let's get a card for my Scorpios. What do we have for my Scorpios? I love y'all so Ooh, you got dream messages. Listen, ooh, yo, and semester ancestors talking. They talking at bottom deck, you got twin flame mission. You got a twin flame mission with your ascendant masters and ancestors or with a divine partner. You have a twin flame mission with somebody. It could also be this Leo that you're interested in, or it may be interested in you. It's deeper than love. If this isn't love, then what it is. <laughs> I got dream messages. Dream messages. 14, 14 o'clock. You got trauma. Okay, trauma. You have you have the gift of courage, and do you have dark night of the soul purge? So what I'm getting is, this is the messages that happen in your dream. Right now, you have the courage to overcome your traumas, 
you have the courage to get through the shadow work, all right? Sometimes, listen to me, sometimes, Scorpio, you tend to lean a little too much to the dark side, all right? 1444, as I'm saying that, that's 1444. I'm telling you, this is the chosen ones, 1444 deck. Listen, I trust my gifts and the cards don't lie. You need to go get the Ascendant Masters and Ancestors Oracle Healer deck. It's in the description box below. This is, you chosen, you're chosen. You're chosen. And you may be getting these messages in your dream. It may be some traumatic experiences that, that, that you reflected on and it may be coming in your dreams and it feels so lucid and so vivid like you're there. It's because you're going through the dark night of the soul, you purging. Your cinematic masters and ancestors are trying to clean that in, cleanse that energy out of, out of you. 1515, that's what's happening. You transforming, you transitioning to who you truly are. That's what's happening. You have the gift of courage. You're very courageous. Okay, I'm thinking about Kurtz the Cowardly Dog. No matter what ha happened, and they call him Cowardly, but he was always brave. He was always trying to save Muriel, 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 Muriel always. And then what happened? The, the, the dad, with the little old dude was always trying to scare him. Booga booga. Put that's like, it's nothing but a mask. He was dealing with some real stuff, and always try and always saving people, always. And Mister, what you going through? But everybody call you Cowardly. You bold. You're brave. Ain't nothing Cowardly about you. You just know how to tame the beast. 1555 and I said that, 1555. Listen, number synchronicities. I trust my gifts and the cards don't lie. I love you so much, Scorpio, I love you so much. Come back and see me. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see everything I do post. Make sure you like, share, you comment, all right? Check everything in the description box below. I'm gonna send all your divine energy back to you with love and light and I'm gonna call my divine energy back to me with love and light. Peace, love and light, namaste. Amen, ashe yo, aivo, bo. You have now left the sacred space of love and light.